Hi boys and girls, happy Winchester Wednesday. Here's our story for today. A Pet for Fly Guy. This is by Ted Arnold. I don't see an illustrator, so I'm wondering if he is also the illustrator. We'll have to research that. Raise your hand if you've heard a Fly Guy book before. Got a whole bunch of them. A boy had a pet fly. He named him Fly Guy. Fly Guy was the smartest pet in the world. He could say the boy's name. Buzz. One day, Buzz said, Fly Guy, we are going on a picnic. Buzz and Fly Guy played chase all the way to the park. They ate lunch. They played together. They looked at clouds. Once the sky gets nicer, we'll be able to look at the clouds and see what we notice in them. They watched other people play with their pets. People really have pets like that. I thought I saw a bear. <laughs> I did see a bear. Do you think you could really play with a fish like that? Wow, said Buzz. Everyone has a pet. No pet. Oop. That's right, said Buzz. You don't have a pet. No pet. Why do you think they put a Z at the end of everything that Fly Guy says? Yeah, so I was trying to make that buzzing sound. We will find a pet for you, said Buzz. Yes. But remember, you have to take care of it, said Buzz. Yes. And play with it, said Buzz. Yes. And feed it, said Buzz. Yes. Show you the pictures. And then, what do you notice about these words? They're supposed to say yes, but they really say yes. But look at them. They get bigger and bigger, right? And even this one, it kind of looks like the lines want it to vibrate. He's saying it so loud. Okay, said Buzz. Let's go to the pet shop. At the pet shop, Buzz came out with a puppy. It licked Fly Guy. Do you think that's a good pet for him? If he licks him too much, he might gobble him right up. Buzz came out with a kitten. It swatted Fly Guy. Buzz came out with a frog. It chased Fly Guy. Thumbs up or thumbs down if you think these two pets are good pets for him. I don't think so either. This isn't working, said Buzz. Only you can pick the best pet for you. Yes. Back at the park, Fly Guy found a worm. It was too slimy. Oops. I don't know if you've been noticing after the rain that we've been having that there's lots of worms outside. They're outside my house anyway. Fly Guy found a spider. It was too tingly. Fly Guy found a cricket. It was too jumpy. Didn't we read another story about a cricket? Could we make a text to text connection? Yeah, our Eric Carl story, right? Buzz said, let's think about the whole pet thing. Yes. You need a pet who likes to play, said Buzz, just like you. Yes. You need a pet who can do tricks, said Buzz, just like you. Yes. You need a pet who is a good friend, said Buzz, just like you. Yes. What are those thought bubbles? Who do you think might be a good pet or friend for him? Hmm. And, said Buzz, you need a pet with a cool name. Yes, Buzz. Buzz is pet. Me, said Buzz. You want me to be your pet? Please. I never thought of that, said Buzz. Okay, sure. I mean, yes. There's just one thing about being your pet, said Buzz. You don't have to feed me. Buzz says, do you know who the best pet in the whole wide world is?
buzz, no fly guy, buzz, fly guy, buzz, fly guy, buzz, fly guy. And what you notice about those words on this page, they go from big to really, I think you can, no, you can see it in there. So, so tiny, so tiny in there. So that was kind of an interesting story, kind of a funny ending. Um, have a wonderful day today. Remember, it's Wacky Wednesday, lots of work, lots of fun. The weather should be getting nicer and nicer, so hopefully you'll be able to go outside soon. And um, we'll talk soon. Miss you guys. Bye.